Hello everyone, I'm Kathleen Kramer and I have the pleasure to serve as the 2025 IEEE President and CEO. On behalf of the IEEE Board of Directors, thank you for the opportunity to congratulate the recipient of one of IEEE's prestigious Technical Field Awards, the 2025 IEEE Donald O. Peterson Award in Solid State Circuits. Sponsored by the IEEE Solid State Circuit Society, this award recognizes outstanding contributions to solid state circuits. This year, it is my pleasure to recognize IEEE Fellow Professor Michael Stayart for his pioneering contributions to RF CMOS circuits and integrated power converters. Professor Stayart and his team are renowned for their contributions to CMOS receiver architectures and circuits, paving the way for many of today's modern communication devices. On behalf of the IEEE Board of Directors, it is my pleasure to recognize IEEE Fellow Professor Michael Stayart as the recipient of the 2025 IEEE Donald O. Peterson Award in Solid State Circuits. When I was a young student, um, we had vacuum tubes and suddenly the transistors were coming along. I still remember the first radios with one or two transistors and what fascinated me is that with solid states we were able to do these type of things. Professor Michiel Steyer got awarded this prestigious Donald O. Peterson Award for his groundbreaking work on CMOS-based radio frequency integrated circuits. Professor Steyart has contributed in, in many fields to electronics uh, progress. Most notably are his contributions you will find back in your, in your own mobile phone. Well, my philosophy was um, uh, going to uh, fully integrated CMOS circuit design. Basically, that uh, means that we try to integrate everything in one chip. And we had a lot of challenges. For example, uh, if you look to the old mobile phones, uh, if you open that, there are a lot of external components. And that's, of course, also costly. And one of the philosophies was, well, let's try to go to fully integrated circuits to try to come up with techniques so that we can bring all those stuff together in one single chip. And he has applied this particularly to the space of wireless transceivers. He was in the late 90s approximately. We had the emergence of new wireless standards such as 3G as well as Bluetooth. And at that point in time, and there was a, a search for architectures and realizations that could be done cheaply, primarily using one single technology like CMOS. And um, Hill was one of those people that has contributed a lot to that development and actually made those things help to turn this thing into reality. I think Michiel Steyr uh, leaves an important legacy. On one hand, a technical legacy, obviously, as he has been pioneering this CMOS-based RFICs uh, that are now being used not only for the low and intermediate frequencies that he envisaged in, in the 90s, but then how it is used by researchers today. I think a second important legacy is actually also, as Professor his students. He, he mentored so many generations of students. Many of them actually became very prolific uh, researchers and professors at high tier universities themselves. We also at Nokia Bell Labs hired some of the students. Several of them reached the Bell Labs fellow level. So uh, his legacy are also his students and maybe even the students of the students. Uh, there's many students that can claim a lineage, uh, a pedigree that goes up to Michiel Steyart. So I think that within the field of applied electronics, the Peterson Award is the, the highest uh, achievable level of recognition that you can that you can achieve. In the past, there were quite a large number of very illustrious uh, recipients. I think that Michiel Steyart certainly belongs amongst them.